Hi, this is Linda Ellers from Great Glass Galore. This is the video on the introduction to the beginner video fusing class. In that class, I'm going to show you about all the materials you can use in fusing and how to glue, clean, and stack them and put them together. I'll do a demo project from beginning to end, the, the cutting and the cleaning and the gluing, and then I'll also fire it in the kiln. I'll go over a basic firing schedule, and then I'll also go through the properties of the glass as it gets fired, as it heats, and as it cools. So as a beginner, you will do work on a project. You'll learn some basic cutting techniques, and you'll cut, clean, and glue your project. You'll leave it behind for me to fire. If uh, you're not living near me, you can call out your local studios or artists and see if somebody will fire your project for you. So uh, one of the things, I have a sample here that uh, this is an 8x8 eight eight square slumper. So this is what the beginner will do. They'll glue everything together. So this project has a bunch of stuff on it. It has glass for it. It has pebbles. It has some actually black paint in this corner. It, and it has some frit over here, decal, and it, these are some noodles and stringers. So this is the first phase. This is what the beginner will do. They'll stack two layers together and decorate the third layer. And then what happens is then I fire it. So I full fuse it once so it's totally flat. So you can see how all this glass changes to the flat. And then what I do next is then I have to fire it again. And I take a ceramic mold and I put this project over in the mold and I heat it again and then it takes the shape of that mold. So then it falls into the mold and then you get your dish. Okay. So uh, I really recommend uh, that beginners with no glass experience start with a uh, usually a straight edge project. So something that's a square or a rectangular project. So I have some dishes here that are examples. If you're going to take class from me and and do my stuff, you'll have to do these projects based on the molds I have available. And I have that, a list of that on my website. Uh, and these are the two most popular, I would say, is this is a seven by seven inch candy dish. And this is the same eight by eight inch square slumper as this one. This square slumper comes in different sizes. So, you know, you've got a, roughly an eight, a 10 inch and a 12 inch size. So you can see the difference in size they make with serving platters. Okay, another popular dish is this 9x9 nine nine platter. It's got a little wave to it. And then I've got a couple of uh, serving trays that are rectangular. So this is the soft-sided serving tray. This is the long rectangular serving slumper tray. Okay, so I usually tell my students do something bigger. And then with your leftover glass, you can do something smaller. So I'll usually give you a base to do one of these projects, a little ring holder. This is like a, called a ginger sushi dish or a 4x4 four four coaster. So you can do those for free with your leftover glass. And then in addition, there's some other slightly bigger projects you can do with your leftover glass. So this is a soap dish. I like to put sponges in the dish and put them beside my sink. And this is more like a dessert plate, but you can also use this as a soap dish. And then this is the small, smallest square slumper. So these are the different projects you can uh, do during class. And again, you can do these projects at home. You can come in and do private time, um, whatever works for you. Uh, you can buy the materials and take them home. But the video will go through how to actually glue everything together. So to get more information on this beginner video fusing class, Go to greatglassgalore.com and click on classes.